Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Victor Melcher and today I'm going to break down how I made the cinematic montage. So I recently had the honor of shooting a mini doc for my talented friend Mike Gray. Before you watch this video, you should definitely check out the full video linked in the description. But in chapter three, I got to shoot a fun montage of just the process that goes into making a platinum palladium print. And that's specifically the scene that I'm going to be breaking down today. I don't think there's a specific way to create a montage scene, but hopefully the way I shot it can give you some tips on how to shoot your next cinematic montage. Also keep watching till the end to see the final product. All right, so first let's look at shooting style. So there's handheld shooting, which does feel pretty intimate and I do enjoy it just because you can kind of move around and it feels a bit more free. And there's also locked off tripod shots, which are really cool if you want to specifically create a nice frame, almost like a moving picture. And you can also shoot on a gimbal or Steadicam, which creates really nice dynamic shots and they're very smooth. And that's actually the way I chose to shoot majority of this montage. So I specifically chose to shoot on a gimbal because I wanted to create these nice dynamic movements, but I also wanted to keep it smooth enough that you can really see what he's doing and you could really see the process and I wanted it to feel immersive because if I were to do a lot of locked off shots I feel like it maybe would have looked boring and if I had done handheld I think the camera shake might have just been a little too distracting to focus on the actual process and with that smooth movement I almost kind of wanted it to feel like dancing and I wanted you to be able to kind of like you know just feel feel the music feel the vibe so that leads directly into song choice and I think it's really important because the song you're picking for your montage can really make or break your edit. If you pick the wrong one, it can easily feel out of place. And I recommend having an idea of what genre of music you wanna try before you even shoot. Early on into shooting, I was thinking something jazzy would be really cool. Just as I was filming, so I was doing like these smooth movements and, and also, especially on YouTube, it's so easy to go with a lo-fi song just because lo-fi it feels universal it kind of goes with everything but i strongly recommend trying to break out of that and just find a song that really fits with the vibe or the look that you really want to go with it can even be out of your comfort zone i don't typically listen to jazz but i knew for this scene it needed to be jazz and for the sake of me praising jazz we're going to use jazz in the rest of this video Also, one key thing that is related to music is the sound design. I got lucky and I was able to use a shotgun mic and just use the sound that we were getting from the process. But don't be afraid to go on YouTube or music subscription sites that have sound effects like Motion Array or Epidemic Sound. You can add so many different sound effects that will just kind of increase the depth and make that montage more interesting. And lastly, let's talk about editing style. On YouTube, you'll see that a lot of videos right now that will have the term cinematic attached to it. They have really cool transitions and tons of crazy like whoosh effects and stuff like that. While it can be cool for certain edits, it's not always necessary for every edit. I think it's important to find your own style and just be able to edit the scene how you want to do it and not how everybody else is necessarily editing. Because I think editing styles, especially like trends like those whoosh effects, they're gonna come and go. But what I feel like will stand the testament of time is just simple cuts that complement the pacing of the scene. And the really cool thing was that after we shot that, me and Mike actually went back to the hotel and cut that whole scene together. And it was so cool and so collaborative. We would bounce ideas off of each other and in turn, I feel like we made this the best sequence that we possibly could. And also another tip is sometimes letting go of your babies. What I mean by that, you might have some shots that you love you're so attached to, you love the framing, you love the lighting, something about it is speaking to you, but you gotta know when to cut it or even cut it out. So for example, we had an overhead shot set up and this was as Matt was soaking the print and I wanted to keep it. I really wanted to keep it for longer because in the final edit, it was only there for like one second or less. The reason I was attached to this shot specifically was just because I've never done like an overhead shot with a C-stand before. And I always used to wonder when I would see overhead shots, like how did they do that? What, what gear did they use? And now it's like, I was able to do that. So it just made me feel really happy and proud of like how far I've come in the past few years. And that shot is great but realistically we only needed 0.5 of those seconds. And I even tried to extend the cut after we had edited it and it just did not flow well. So I kept it to the original piece and let it flow. And also with letting it flow, while I just talked about keeping certain shots concise and keeping them to a minimum and even cutting them out if you have to, 
There's also moments where you can let a scene ride if it goes well. So for example, towards the end of the sequence, I was able to shoot this really fun one shot of Matt taking the print all the way to the last and final soaking process. Everything before this was so quick, you know? And then we got to this shot and we just get to really let it ride. That's one thing that you can do if you have a slot for that that fits with the song and just the pacing of the edit. And also a key inspiration, I think for just shooting this, one thing that really made me wanna do a jazzy style edit was Birdman. And Birdman is all one shots. So getting to do this just felt right. It felt complete. Ever since the very beginning of me getting into filmmaking, I've always been intrigued by one shots and I've always loved them. So just getting to implement this into such a fast edit was really cool. And the final shot of this, you get to see Mike really take it all in and enjoy his creation and also the process and Matt's creation too. So yeah, that's how we shot the cinematic montage sequence from start to finish. I hope this helps out some beginner filmmakers out there. And without further ado, here's the final scene. <laughs> 